So the, the opening of quarantine free travel both ways is such a significant and positive step forward for Air New Zealand. Um, you know, it is a huge part of our network, the Trans-Tasman network, and so to be able to have people moving freely between both countries is of huge significance to us uh, and a really positive step forward for, for us as an organisation. Uh, we're here to see um, Queen my parents. It's been almost two years since we haven't seen them and um, yeah, it's very exciting and nervous too. <laughs> it dragged out for so long that there was no end in sight and now you know, there's a bit more clarity and we can see each other now finally after so much time. I know, it's, it's unreal. Yeah. Well, it was hard. She's, she's one of four and the other three are all at home, but she's the only one that I haven't been able to give a cuddle or take a dish of dinner to, you know what I mean? I came into Wellington Airport this morning and seeing, you know, the posters, the welcome Pano sign at the end of the runway and just, you know, the spirit of... Uh, of welcome that is here amongst everyone that's working here. It's been incredible. I have no words. I'm just so grateful <laughs> that I could come back. I'm like shaking right now. It was so good. Everyone started cheering when we landed and like when we took off, everyone was so excited. I was so grateful. Like she's my best friend and we've gone 18 months without seeing each other. Like I'm just so grateful to be back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, we're just pleased to fly the flag across the Tasman after such a long time. It's, uh, you know, as I say, it's been 13 months since we've been here, so it's you know, almost slightly emotional seeing Sydney come up across the horizon for the first time, and it's such a nice day. Lovely to be back. Really Absolutely. pleased to be back. I, I got engaged. Yeah. <laughs> I know she's been dress shopping without anyone, without a mum to say it's yes. Fine. She looks great. <laughs> I'll look over the plans for the wedding because I don't really trust her. <laughs> um, so today we have over 30 flights flying and today we're operating to five destinations which is Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth and Gold Coast. Thursday we're really excited for our inaugural Hobart flight, welcome to Hobart. Uh, Adelaide introduces from the 5th of May and then Cairns and Rochador uh, from the end of June. I think today I'll remember it from being just a day full of excitement, high emotion for many, many people. It's a day of celebration and we have been celebrating today. There's been bubbles all over the place, so from the, the lounge to, through to the departure gate here in Sydney, and I know on board we've um, chilled up 24,000 bottles of champagne uh, to serve across the network to our customers today to celebrate. So uh, a great day all round. I'm excited to yourself. Uh, it's a really exciting day because we're reuniting people. Uh, we're able to share our monarchy on board again um, and bring, I guess, a lot of Australians to New Zealand and help our tourism industry as well. Over the last 12 months, we, it's been very strained for our airline and for our customers. People aren't, they haven't been reunited with their loved ones, but today is a roller coaster of emotions because, you know, that day has finally come where we can reunite everyone with their family. From having been sort of, you know, it's that spot at the end of the tunnel is actually growing um, rather than just the darkness that's, that's felt that's been over us the last 12 months. There's rejuvenation and growth starting to happen and just hearing the stories on board from the customers today, we're reuniting people uh, that haven't seen or hugged their family in 13 months, which is such a privilege to be able to do. And just hearing those stories, you know, that shows us that we are rejuvenating, we're regrowing um, and we're reviving.